Let's take a moment to talk about chunking content because it's such an important instructional design strategy in producing effective content, especially if a topic or procedure is complex. Chunking just means grouping content into right-sized bites. In many cases, it means breaking content down into singular topics or a couple of items that go together. Research has shown that learners can only maintain focus for a short time when it comes to online content. So be wary of creating 20 to 30 minute tutorials when it may be more effective to break the content into several shorter units that address one or two aspects of content at a time. This can really help with information overload and motivation by allowing students to effectively absorb as many small amounts of content as they feel they can. It builds their confidence to know that they learned something and learned it well. It also makes it easier for learners to go back and review a specific part. For instructional designers, chunking is a great exercise in organizing knowledge, which can help with deciding your level of detail establishing key points, and building a timeline. And frankly, if you need to change content at any time, it makes it much easier if you're changing one small unit instead of a big piece of content. Right-sizing is about more than just the content. This screen shows two ends of a spectrum of choices you will have to make. For example, e-learning units, Vocational training and tutorials commonly follow a linear timeline. They are often assigned for a limited time and the audience must consume the content in that time, possibly all in one sitting. The academic style, however, is often less linear and may be chunked into units that learners can do in the order that makes the most sense for them, spread out over a week or a longer period of time. When you think about what the right size of content is, you need to consider your organization, the audience, and the delivery method. These are all choices you have been making all along as part of your instructional design plan or the instructional inventory you completed at the beginning of this module. Turning your ideas and written notes into a script for multimedia content varies in difficulty based on the complexity of the content and your own comfort with writing. The best way to start is just to start. Get all of your words and thoughts out, then worry about sculpting. Next comes cutting. Remember, the goal here is not to be entertaining, but to be succinct and clear. Look at every sentence and ask yourself what it's adding to your goals and objectives. And if the answer is nothing, then you don't need it. Then, simplify the words you use. Your learners may have varying education levels, comfort with reading or understanding the language you're writing in, or any number of circumstances that call for using language that is as simple as possible. I find this task very difficult, and luckily there are tools that can help. Pictured here is the Hemingway app, which allows you to copy your script into a text box, and it tells you the readability of your words. Further, there are tools like the Merriam-Webster's Learner's Dictionary that can help you choose more simple words. Both of these tools are linked in the resources for this week. Finally, you want to avoid idioms and inside jokes for the same reason that you want to simplify your words. Again, the goal is not to be clever or entertaining, but to be understood above all else. Once you have worked through your storyboard content, including chunking content into right-sized portions and writing a script that focuses on being understood, you're ready to start selecting the visual elements that will illustrate your points.